even see maybe the skating. <laughs> yeah. Seems to be always missing. Um, may I introduce? This is Corey Pitkin. Hi, Corey. Hi, Appreciate Corey. you here. And he's a new member to the Oak Room <laughs> Artists. Congratulations. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, we still have the all member show up there. And when do you take that down? Very soon. Tuesday. Tuesday. You okay. take it down Tuesday? Yeah. Oh. We were going to go Tuesday to see it, but I guess we can't then. Okay. Well, if you come early, it uh, doesn't open until 9, so yeah. nobody will be there before then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 no, you have to break okay. in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Corey has some two, two, two. Uh, beautiful paintings there. Mm. Ah. Well, anyway, we are in for a treat. And Corey will probably t uh, talk about himself, how he got got uh, into it, what your background is, just mm -hmm. just a few few words about that, sure. and then uh, we need a volunteer for sitting in one of those chairs, yeah, wherever, in chair right there. or in, in that chair. Ginger's gonna do it. Okay. Ginger is going to do it. Okay. Ginger is going to do it. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was easy. Put your coffee down, Ginger. Put your coffee down. Yeah. Well, Corey will put you in the right way. He has a way of doing it. Send me where he wanted me to be. Take off your clothes. No, no, you don't want that. You're not a free site. No, no, no. I was just worried you were talking to me. <laughs> I was hoping she wasn't. <laughs> That's cold, babe. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello. Oh, uh, may I, uh, hmm? or, yep, or maybe you can introduce your, yeah. your friend. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> um, this is my uncle-in-law, Josh. Uh, he's Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Offered to uh, film this, and uh, once we're done editing, uh, we'll put it up on my website and make it available for oh, free awesome. for everybody. Oh, awesome. uh, so if you hear any pearls of wisdom, you can go back and reference them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a predominantly self-taught artist. Uh, I grew up in the Adirondacks in the Warrensburg area. Um, kind of bounced around the capital region for the past 20 years. And uh, I'm living up in Broad Alban, which is uh, the southern tip of the Great Saugandaga. Um, and uh, I teach uh, workshops around the area in portraiture, uh, both human and animal. Uh, in fact, I have one coming up at Saratoga Art Center on the 1st. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my background. Uh, Appreciate you being here. <laughs> um, my focus is usually uh, portraiture. Uh, it's, you know, there's really nothing I feel more challenging than, you know, capturing more than just the pure likeness of a person, but you know, I think in a painting you can find a little something deeper than a photograph can, um, you know, and capture a little bit more of the spirit. Um, so, cool. <laughs> so, good start. Um, okay. uh, turn your head a little bit more towards there. That's great. And is the light in your eyes too much? Um, no. No. No? Okay. And comfortable position? Sure. No. <laughs> Can you keep quiet for that long? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I'll set a timer for 15 minutes and then take a break. Does that work? Yeah. My glasses are fogging up. Power <laughs> <laughs> search band those stations. I uh, know. Uh, what I'm painting on is uh, an oil paper made by Arches. Uh, it's a relatively new uh, creation of theirs. And uh, I 
is really great for quick sketches. Um, or if you mm -hmm. do like a, a weekly life drawing <coughs> studio type of thing, um, it doesn't take up anywhere near as much space. And you have a pile of them. Uh, dries to a matte finish. And uh, I like to throw a little bit of odorless mineral spirits on it just to wet the surface because it can be a little dry when you start. Two mediums I have here is uh, one is half walnut oil and half odorless mineral spirits. The other is just pure mineral spirits. Corey, are you using oil, oil paint or water-based oil paint? What are you? This is oil paint. Okay. So. Feel free to ask any questions as I'm going along. Those of you who know me know I'm not much of a talker. No, and he is not. <laughs> so, Corey, are you just blocking in planes? Are you looking for shadows? Are you looking for shapes? Blocking what are you in the at? general shadow shapes at this point. It's really at this point that you figure out your basic composition. Mm -hmm. It's the piece. Corey, if you weren't doing a fast painting like you're doing tonight, mm -hmm. would you do, do you ever do a, more of a detailed un underdrawing? I do often um, for a, uh, okay. a studio piece. Gotcha. Um, I usually draw that out on newsprint and then transfer that onto the canvas. And uh, then I might go with a, a multiple layered approach where I'd uh, do a wash, get the basic um, value contrasts in, and then go in and color, let that dry, and go in again with color, uh, really uh, refine from there. And, uh, when, you, <coughs> when you do an underdrawing on a canvas or a panel, 
would you then, before you started painting it, would you spray the charcoal, would you do it in charcoal or, mm. or graphite? Would you spray it with fixative before you started? I uh, use a, uh, a graphite transfer paper to transfer it onto the canvas. Oh, okay. And uh, then I'll usually spray it with a little bit of um, workable fixative. Gotcha. But um, the, the graphite usually doesn't bleed too much. So this, then go back in with the darker shadow color. Do a bit more of the drawing. And I'm slightly nearsighted, so at this stage a lot of times I'll take off my glasses and that'll prevent me from getting too far into detail too quickly. Here I start mixing in some basic flush tones. On the face there's three general zones as far as the color goes. Where the forehead will be uh, more towards a yellow. skin is right up against the bone, and there isn't a, a lot of uh, deeper blood vessels going through it. Um, then in the cheek and nose area, it'll go more towards the red. And in the jaw, uh, in women, it'll go more towards green, and men often more towards blue, because you have uh, the whiskers under the surface. When you're doing a portrait, do you work exclusively from life, or do you use photographs for reference to cut down the number of settings? I usually use photos. Um, it's just easier. Yeah. I prefer working from life, but you know, it's easier, yeah. especially for the setter.
you ever use an undercolor on your painting before you start, like tr give it an undercolor first, or just like you're doing now, just coloring as you go? Um, I used to, but um, I find that uh, in the, the studio works at least, when you're doing you know, upwards of four layers of paint for um, you know whatever underpainting tone that you put in is just going to get lost. So. Um, those things that I ultimately decided I was kind of just spinning my wheels and wasting time doing that. You guys are just as still as I am. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's like getting a haircut. You just stare at one spot and... <laughs> Corey, you do pastel also. I do, yeah. Which do you prefer? Depends on the day. <laughs> uh, I just finished a, uh, a large pastel piece, so right now I prefer oil. Uh, you mentioned you had a website? I do, yeah. CoreyPitkin.com. Corey Corey mm -hmm. Can you uh, send us a link to the video? Sure. When it's done? Uh, yeah. A link to where it is on your site? Yeah. That'd be great. So, Corey, if you're self-taught, did you also get some training, or what did you, how did you learn um, your skills? Practice. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, in the past couple of years, I've taken a couple workshops um, in the area to, uh, you know, because you can only 
get so far with practice and uh, Thank you. you know uh, study. But uh, you know, for the most part, it was just you know, putting in the time. Okay. You have cards. You have paintings. Is this your baby? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember me from class, but you were just about to have this baby when I mm -hmm. had yeah. my class with you. <laughs> so what did you have? <laughs> A girl. Ah, girl. Yeah. yeah, she's over two now. Really? Was yeah. that long ago? It was, yeah. Oh, time flies. Yeah. Jeez. We do have an extra chair behind me. This is more comfortable. <laughs> it does look better. <laughs>
Sorry, when did this start painting? Um, I started painting, I started studying painting seriously probably six or seven years ago. Um, I'd always been good at drawing, but uh, I felt I Well, I, it had always been my goal to um, eventually make a living as an artist. And I hit a point where I realized that just being good at drawing wasn't going to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's for sure. It was time to step up my game. You're still working, right? Besides teaching um, workshops at in Saratoga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I uh, have a day job at the Lottery Building. Uh, oh. Back when oh. Proctor's. Oh. What do you do there? I write software for the government. Oh, that cool. sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He knows what's on your phone. <laughs> Who knew that all of us programmers were, were uh, actually artists? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't make a living. Mm. Yeah, Nancy and I are both in IT. Well, she's not anymore. She went and okay. tired on me. Do you know, last week I had a dream that I was back at work. <gasps> I know it was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> your class on March 1st full or not? I don't believe so. Hmm. Um, I actually brought a couple of brochures if anybody's interested. I'm always, I'm always impressed uh, or amazed uh, when doing a portrait. Well, uh, 16th of an inch, one way or another, will do to an expression. Oh, definitely. And I'm watching, I'm watching you get your proportions and, and, and everything, and, and I don't see you, I don't really see you measuring.